Hi everyone, the other day I did a one touch white balance tutorial and I kind of walked you through all the stuff on how to set up the one touch white balance and use it in different lighting conditions. And I got a lot of great feedback on that and I really appreciate that. But there was also some comments in there that uh, alerted me to some issues that might come up when you're doing the one touch white balance. Namely, when you're using a white piece of paper. Because uh, a lot of paper these days, I guess, come with some kind of fluorescent uh, chemicals in it or some kind of UV resistance. And uh, that's going to affect the white balance when you're doing one touch white balance with a piece of paper. Uh, and from what I understand, it's hard to find paper nowadays that doesn't have some sort of chemical in it that would offset or incorrectly give you, a, uh, give you an incorrect white balance reading. And another viewer has suggested that I use uh, toilet paper uh, because supposedly it's bleached and chemical free and all of that stuff. So I, I grabbed uh, a few squares off my roll of toilet paper in the house, but I also wanted to try uh, just regular Kleenex tissue paper as well. And then I'm going to compare those three items against my, uh, let's see, I have it here, my x-ray color checker. Now a lot of you are probably familiar with the color side. You see this all the time, you know, model standing up there doing that. But it also has a gray card built in. Now it's not an 18% gray, but it's a light gray uh, that's supposed to give you perfect white balance according to x ray So we're also going to try this, and then I have this as well that I use time to time. Uh, it's just a gray card that you use for video and for uh, photography. And of course, I'll be comparing against the spider checker. Uh, no, it's Spider Cube, I'm sorry, from Data Color that I recently acquired. And I really like this device. All right, first let's just do an ambient shot with auto white balance. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I have my camera at uh, 25 millimeters. Now, let's uh, set the white balance using the white piece of paper, using one touch white balance. So I'm going to measure the light right about here. So let's go ahead and set our white balance. So I'm going to go into one touch white balance, click the info button, and I need to make sure I fill the frame with the white piece of paper and that my thumb or anything else is not in the frame. And that looks pretty good. Now let's do a shot with the toilet paper. And I've, I've got it about four layers deep to try to minimize any light that might shine through the back of it. So let's do that. Now let's uh, do a shot with the uh, tissue paper. And I'm just gonna double up the tissue paper again to minimize the light that might bleed through from behind it. All right, let's do one with the color checker from x right and I'll use the uh, white balance side of this. All right, let's do one with the uh, gray card. I'm gonna set the white balance to this uh, ginormous thing, relatively speaking. All right, and then let's do one with the spider cube, and I don't need to uh, change the white balance because this will be done in post-processing. All right, so let's do this with flash. So I'm gonna go into manual mode and uh, try to get the exposure right. All right, let's go with that. Now, I'm gonna do this uh, set to uh, flash white balance. All right, now let's use the uh, one touch white balance and we'll calibrate the camera uh, one touch white balance to the flash. So I need to turn off the flash white balance in the camera in the menu F. All 
right, now let's try our toilet paper. Okay, now let's do it with the uh, tissue paper. All right, now let's use the uh, X-Rite. Do one with the uh, gray card. Now let's do one with the X-Rite, or I'm sorry, the uh, Theta Color Spider Cube. And I don't need to uh, change the white balance because we're gonna do this in post-processing. So what can we derive from all of this? Because the intent of this project was to see if, in fact, white paper did produce warmer images than any of the other methods I tried. And based on the test results from today and the ones from a couple days ago, I can say that is a true statement. The white paper did produce warmer results than the other methods. Uh, that said, does that mean that using one-touch white balance with a white piece of paper is no longer useful? Absolutely not, because I can tell you in practice, in real life, real world uh, type situations, uh, using, using the one touch white balance has been a tremendous help uh, in me getting better colors in my images. And, you know, of course, nothing beats post processing and using, you know, a, a dedicated uh, white balance tool like the uh, x ray card or the uh, spider cube. Uh, but the one-touch white balance is still a very handy tool to have in the field. So anyway, let me know what you thought. If you like these kind of videos, consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button, maybe buy me a coffee. But either way, I appreciate you watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.